I'm here with Alexandra Stapleton and we are making some really cool glasses and plates and all kinds of stuff. Right, so it's all about personalization. So I have done it that you can literally personalize anything with vinyl. I did a cake stand, I've done plates that you could do for a wedding with Mr. and Mrs. Um, glasses, which you're going to be doing today, and also a plaque and things that you can make. So you can literally customize anything. I like it. Let's get started. All right. So I'm going to be using up some of my scraps. So I have a piece of the rose gold glitter um, on there, which is perfect for wedding season. I'm always down with glitter. Exactly. Lots of sparkle. And I'm just going to use a design that I've already saved in here like this. And then I'm just going to scan my mat in, which is going to let me just position it perfectly on the scrap so that I can use um, up all my pieces of vinyl. I always think that like, I mean, I'm a hoarder. I'm not going to lie. Me too. <laughs> save every tiny little save piece every of everything. Save every tiny little bit. And I save them by color so right. that I can easily find them, yep. you know, and I do find that over time, I reach for that scrap bin all the time yes. and I'm always looking to see what I can use again. Exactly, so this is perfect because I can um, position, at this I'm gonna be doing misses and I can move it around so that it fits perfectly on my scrap and then I can also resize it if I need to as well. So I can just. And you know, I think a part of customization is being able to make it exactly what you want it to be. So you can pick the font, you can pick the size, you can pick whatever it is that you need exactly. to make it perfect. Exactly. So I'm going to cut out the misses. So while it's cutting, will you tell us a couple hints about when you're cutting vinyl, what are some things that you need to think about, like how to set things or... So I tend to have my blade not too deep. If you're cutting a glitter vinyl, it needs to be deeper than if it's just, say, a plain black vinyl. Because that glitter actually... It's is another something. layer. It's an exactly. object. Yeah. Um, I like to use a lower tack mat so that my paper doesn't stick to the back and it doesn't tear in any way. Um, and always have a weeding tool set to hand. So when we okay, pick so out let's talk pieces. about weeding because I never do it in the garden, but I'm always <laughs> willing to do it with vinyl. Uh, you know, because weeding is basically we've done what's known as a kiss cut, right? Yes. Where we actually haven't cut all the way through. Exactly. We've just cut that vinyl layer and the backing paper that's on the back of your vinyl we haven't cut through that because otherwise it's going to stay on your mat right and then it's harder to work with um, so I'm going to pull my mat away from my vinyl and I have cut out a missus uh, which you can just kind of see at the top here if I'm doing something super detailed I tend to have like a light box underneath makes it even easier and I really like these hook tools because I can just get they always in. look like dental instruments of they torture really to do. me I've known people who do dental instruments tweezers toothpicks like anything you can use that's better than nails to get under there exactly. and make so sure you're getting all once of that. you've started you can literally then just peel away the excess like this. And of course, if you were home and you're a hoarder like we are, mm -hmm. you, <laughs> you might have used an even smaller scrap exactly. so that you would be saving all of that stuff. Yeah, and even once I've cut it, I could just take my trimmer and I could have just trimmed underneath or just done a, a rough fussy cut as well. So you can really save those pieces. You're also going to want to get rid of anything that's in the middle of A's, D's, R's, all of those things. Get rid of that centerpiece that it's cut. That as looks well. great. So now we're going to add it to our glass. So if you can just pass yeah. me that one that I haven't decorated. And I'm going to be using, this is transfer tape. So again, it's a low tack and it's going to allow me to place it perfectly onto this glass. So it's, it's like a sticker sheet, right? It's going yeah. to stick to the vinyl, but not the backing. Exactly. So I'm going to line up my grid lines. So this makes sure that you get it straight because I'm notorious for exactly. being sloppy. So grid lines are perfect on the transfer tape because it allows you to line it up perfectly. And if I can just grab yep. the brayer from you, you want to really get in there, put your set. back into it as yep. they say. I've been known to use a scraper tool, a credit card, a hotel room key. Mm -hmm. Like you just want to use something to really get your exactly. pressure Exactly, and on. you can see how easily then you can just remove I have to tell you, that sheet. you know what's interesting is I always peel the tape from the backing, but seeing how much easier it was to peel the backing from the tape. Because it sticks to whatever's on the bottom. That's such a small tip, but <laughs> that big really difference, works. big difference. So if I can get you to hold the glass yes, this is why, for me. Yes, this is why you need to craft with a friend. You do. Always craft with a friend. So I'm going to pop this on there and again I can just line up those uh, lines. We're Whoop. going to We're stuck on there. We're taking the hook with us. 
and then we're just going to wrap our transfer tape round and again scrapey tool nail anything to just Get kind of really in there if you're doing fun. something like the chargers or something flat. exactly so I'm just going to rub it with my finger. I now, is this going to be permanently on that glass? This is a permanent vinyl. You can get removable vinyls too. So if you're doing different occasions or different names, um, if you're doing different parties and things, you oh, absolutely. You know what? For wine glasses, I was just thinking, instead of those little wine glass charms, you could temporarily vinyl them, and it's, right. it would be kind of nice. Or if you've got a themed party, you can mm -hmm. do it just with the other party, and it will move come back off again. So I tend to leave it maybe about 30 seconds, which just kind of allows that adhesive to start curing. And then again, I can just pull that transfer tape off. It's so glittery pretty. It looks so translucent when it's on that glass because I can see the glitter from behind too. Right, so you've got the color and the glitter. So and then cool. whichever side of the glass you're looking at, you can see, and it's perfect because you can theme it to the wedding colors. Yeah, party you could colors. do initials, you exactly. could do somebody's name. There are so many different ways. And of course, you can see all the different colors. Mm -hmm. I'm personally, for me, I don't know about you, but I love this kind of coppery color that's a real metallic. The neons would be so fun for kids. Yes, and they glow in the dark, some of the neons too. I'm sorry, what? Yes. So the neons will glow in the dark. So you can put them on Halloween things. You can decorate the trick or treat bowls. That's so You can cool. do all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I love that. And everything you've brought is so beautiful and personal, which is yes. the entire point, right? Exactly. Let's personalize everything. That's it. This was fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having us. Absolutely.